What's going on guys, Rob Pizzo back with you and we've got a jam-packed Road to the Olympic Games recap where Canadian athletes were doing one of three things. One, climbing atop the podium all around the world. Two, having the adult equivalent of a snow day. And three, retiring. Haley Wickenheiser dropped a bomb on the sporting world on Friday with this tweet announcing that after 23 years on the national team, she had decided to retire. Twitter blew up. On Saturday, she received a standing ovation before the Flames-Oilers game in Edmonton and a huge compliment from the great one himself. You played with heart, desire, finesse, speed, skill, and the only other person, the greatest player ever lived, I think he'd be happy if I said, you were the female Gordie Howe. Congratulations. Wow. So what do you do after you've won four Olympic gold medals and seven world championships? You go to medical school. Now to Italy for a World Cup ski cross event. 24-year-old Mariel Thompson of Whistler, BC, was first in the big final. The win sent Thompson to a World Cup podium for the fifth time this season and closer to her quest for a third Crystal Globe as circuit champion. Georgia Simmerling also won a silver at the event. On the men's side, Calgary Alberta's Brady Lehman finished second overall in the big final to capture his second silver in as many days. It was his fourth trip to the World Cup podium this season. Canadians Alex Harvey and Len Valius raced to a win in the men's cross-country team sprint event in Italy. The pair finished the course in 16 minutes, 2.11 seconds, just 0.53 seconds ahead of Sweden. Okay, this is the part of the update where the bad weather kicks in. But it didn't stop Canadians from reaching the podium. A World Cup skeleton event in Germany was reduced to just one run because of the weather. Elizabeth Vachi found herself with a gold medal around her neck and got a big congratulations hug from mom. Her teammate, Morella Raniva, won a bronze, making it the first time in four years Canadians have shared a skeleton podium. The World Cup men's downhill event in Wengen, Switzerland is one of the highlights of the schedule. Two minutes and 30 seconds of intense skiing with tight corners and even a tunnel. But unfortunately, weather wiped it all out. And that tends to happen when a half meter of snow falls and you have winds upwards of 60 kilometers an hour. And Canadian Alex Goff suffered some bad luck at a World Cup event in Latvia. Oh, you can hear that. That's her helmet actually hitting the ice. Her head hit the ice after her helmet strap broke toward the end of her first run. She did complete the second run, finished 13th, and dropped to fourth in the overall standings. So to recap, it was a very successful but cold weekend for Canadians. Thanks for watching.